he gon' die. Yeah, I'm at a threat. Yeah, I'm for that bitch, I'm a lad. No. I get the money, no lay up. Hell no. I move the pack to the mill. Yeah. She give me brain till I mail. No. Here's what I think it would be like to really date Dobby. This ended up being kind of sad, so I'm sorry in advance. One of the main reasons that Dobby likes you or even fell for you in the first place is because you never asked him about his scars. You figured he'd tell you about them when he was ready, and he's never told you anything. He's so used to people asking about them or commenting on them. It was just really refreshing for him to finally meet someone who didn't focus on his scars immediately. He never stayed over at first. He would either be gone before you went to bed or leave while you were asleep. But one time he came over looking particularly tired and he ended up falling asleep and sleeping for hours. You could tell he was just exhausted and he wanted to do something nice so you washed his clothes and you made some food that if he wanted to take with him he could or he could eat it there. And when he woke up, he seemed genuinely surprised that you had done such a kind thing for him. But ever since then, things have been a little bit different, like he trusts you a little bit more. And suddenly you guys fell into a routine that almost started to feel like a relationship. He's not a very touchy-feely or snuggly person. But after a while, you started to notice that even when you were sitting next to each other or sleeping next to each other, one part of his body was always touching you. Your knees would touch if you were sitting on the couch. His foot would touch yours if you were sleeping in the bed. He really likes when the weather is cold, like snow or rainstorms. And sometimes when it rains, you look outside and he's just standing in it looking up at the sky. Hey. Mm, no. Stop it. I, I said stop. Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? No, you know what? This is your fault. So there you go. Oh, can't make a wife out of a hoe. Oh, you're such a fucking hoe. I love it. Hello, if you're seeing me on your page right now, this video is for you. This is your My Hero Academia life. Sorry, I don't make the rules. I mean, I do, but... Oh well. <laughs> this is your best friend. I'm jealous. Okay, so Mina's your best friend, but these two are in your little friend group. Okay, period. Pop off. Period, sis. Okay, I see you. Who's your ex? <laughs> That's awkward. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who's your current boo thing? really just switched all the way the fuck up on these hoes. Okay, I see you. Good luck with that. 
You might be taken, but who's your sneaky link? You're trying to get this boy murdered. Dusted. You're trying to make him simply disappear. <laughs> okay, so you and Mirio hooking up on the side. Who finds out and tells Shigaraki? This boy done snitched on himself. <laughs> He's just trying to get this shit over with. He's like, kill me now. Just end my life. <laughs> okay, so Shigaraki is about to murder Mirio, but who steps in and saves him last minute? Thank you, Kirishima. Thank you so fucking much. You a real one. Okay, so when all is said and done, at the end of the day, this is who you end up with. You, bestie, you really said Kachan's mom has got it going on. <laughs>
bust my gun and take the charge as long as you say my name. Every time I break you off, girl, I'll give you what you want. Imagine trying to explain to your friend that doesn't watch My Hero Academia that these are the good guys. No, 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 he's actually an aspiring hero. Okay, so what's his hero name? Um, Explosion Mother God Dynamite? What? But he's working on it. No, he's actually a pro hero. Okay, but like why are his eyes red? His eyes are red because he's using his quirk. And what exactly is his quirk? It's, um... He can cancel any non-mutational quirk and render the user helpless until he traps them. But just for a while, you're telling me this guy mm -hmm. is a hero. But to be honest, he hasn't always been that good of a person because he was an abusive father. But like, he's making amends. He's trying to be better now. And he's always been a pro hero. So let me guess, his quirk is fire. Hellflame to be exact. It's the fact that Horikoshi confirmed that the MH universe has TikTok. Ogetic villains. 